evening, everybody. It's dark out. It is dark out. We're just gonna start to see. Yeah. That's outside, right there. And if you couldn't guess, we are in Storybook Circus. We're at Big Top Treats. Is where we're at. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're just in Storybook Circus. So I thought we were gonna have a relaxing night, and then I thought. I thought we were gonna have a relaxing night at the resort then, and then it changed into a relaxing night at Magic Kingdom. Why not? So we, we literally moseyed, by the definition of moseyed, our way over here. We took the ferry over, and then went straight to the train, and then took the train over here, and now we're gonna sluggishly walk around Fantasyland. We may or may not go see fireworks, who knows? This is the darn cutest shirt I've seen in so long. Look at that. $32.99. This kid loves Walt Disney World. I think the other one's even more cute. And this. That one's just cool. This feels delicious. This feels luxurious. Slimy yet satisfying. $39.99. Ooh. I like that. Don't just fly. Soar. Happiest girl on earth. I'm gonna get you that. We're gonna find a bench. It's super busy, so we might not find a bench. We might lay on the ground on the bridge going from Gaston's to Fenton. Wow. I don't know what just happened, but I'm so happy. I got a strawberry bar because I've been weirdly craving them lately. I got me a cold pop and a Mickey premium bar. Woo! Look at her. She thinks she's a princess with her own little stool right outside of Gaston's. So we can see these fireworks and we can see these fireworks, and we can sail along. And you were there. Nick, tell us down below in the comments if you know what that phrase is from. And you were there. I'll comment, because I know. That's cheating. How beautiful this woman is. You all thought I was gonna say the castle, didn't you? Bamboos at all of you. Do you want to do Enchanted Tales? We have our jungle cruise. Okay, let's go. If that isn't an amazing way to enjoy your hump day, I just don't know what is that. Sound great. I said if that's not a perfect way to enjoy your hump day, I don't know what it is. It's Wednesday, right? Oh, thank God. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Followed by Friday. Are, those are the days of the week, yes. And then Saturday. And Sunday. And Monday. And Tuesday. Our free room both ended today. Almost time, I'm ready. 
By this time, if we lived in Chicago right now, I would have already gone to the State Street Macy's in downtown Chicago and gone to the Christmas section at least four times by now. Look at this ceramic friend owl sugar bowl. Sugar bowl! This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. The holidays are swell. Now, Farrell will put a link up over here of some of our old vlogmas, maybe our vlogmas playlist. Sure. To see what kind of ridiculousness we do during Christmas time. And look at this. 75 days until Christmas. We usually get our Christmas countdown on it 100 days. Why haven't we yet? The past two years, the past two years we've gotten on 100 days until Christmas. Just wait until you all meet Creepy Santa. Creepy Santa is my favorite thing about Christmas. And the rain, rain, rain came down, down, down. Have we been on this yet? Yes. Once. The night is coming to an end because I have to go to work in the morning. But I wanted to do, before we head home, a quick little Peter Rambles. Peter Rambles. Because we're right here, right next to the beautiful castle, and because there's Christmas lights on it, and because we're right here, I wanted to let everybody know, for cast members here, you'll know what they are, but for people who aren't, or weren't, for Halloween and Christmas, they do something called cast member preview. So for the Halloween parade and the Christmas parade, they'll have a, a one night, like right before the first party, and they'll invite cast members to come to the to the Magic Kingdom after park closes. They clear out all the guests, and they usually have like hundreds or thousands of cast members hiding somewhere until they clear the park of guests and let them go to Main Street to watch both parades. It's like a, dr a final dress rehearsal for the cast members in the parade. And where we were for the Christmas parade was we were hung out in one of the quick services. I don't know if it was Pecos or Pinocchio's. We waited there, all of us. No, it was Columbia Harbor House. We waited in Columbia Harbor House until they cleared out all of the park except for Main Street because Main Street's the last park to clear. So we were all in line. Like there was a rope right here. All of this, all of this, there was a rope. And then all the way back there, full of cast members, giddy, dressed up in Christmas their Christmas best, waiting for us to get like, unleashed into Main Street. And then they like dropped that rope and we all just ran at like one in the morning, an empty park, down Main Street, waiting for the Christmas parade. And it was good, because it was the first time I ever saw the Christmas parade, because it was before any of the parties. And I just remember like running down the street, because our friend Dom and Matt were in the Christmas parade. So then I was even more giddy. But it was a memory I'll never forget. It was amazing. When we're in the important before we go home, but look at this amazing hoodie. But what's more amazing is this hat. Look, it's the part, it's the castle with partners in it. That is the best hat I think Disney's ever created. Oh my god. I might have to buy this one day. And I don't know the pa the prices, but it's it's coral. Coral priced. Look at this cute card we got. Look at that. Adventure thrives in our Ohana. It stitches on there. It's from uh, the Alumni Association for the Disney College Program. They sent out, that's the fourth one? It was super cool. But we are home, we're going to bed because it is later than we expected. I'm not even going to tell you what time it is because if my bosses see this one day, they're going to be like, what are you doing? You got to go to work. But we have a fun weekend ahead of us. We're not going to tell you what we're doing on Saturday, but we're doing something cool on Saturday. Don't tell me. I'm not. 
Sarah's mad at me because I made her take cough, cough syrup and she hates any and all kinds of medicine, especially ones that Nana would give you. But she needs to take it, she needs to get better. We may not be going to the park tomorrow. We may just be relaxing at home, not even a resort, but we may just be relaxing at home because she needs to, she's got a bad cough and she's got to get over it. But Eve's really tired. I'm really tired. Sarah's really mad. So we're going to bed. And with that, Eve, it's good to be home. Sarah? Yeah? It's good to be home? We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.